For years, Jenna Barker has been living in Sophia under harsh conditions, and her monthly income was not enough to offset the cost for home renovations. Now, she is proud to showcase her new home built under the Adequate Housing and Urban Accessibility Program. Barker New House was built on her land at Section D, Sophia. I feel very happy for finally having my own home. And I also would like to thank the government of Guyana, the Ministry of Housing especially, who tried their utmost best to help me out when I was in a very bad position. Barker is one of the four persons to receive houses on Tuesday and is among a large number of core home recipients since 2020. I feel comfortable in the area and I'm, I'm happy in my new home. I used to live at the back of the house, at the back of the house, right? But it was swampy and the house began to lean and twist and I went into housing and get this opportunity. I feel comfortable. I put God first and I feel comfortable living at my own home. Um, I used to live by my sister and then I left and after I knew my husband, I ended up coming and live here. And he died since 2009 and me and my children are living here. So I go and apply after here with the cold home. I go to housing and I apply for it. I am happy and proud that the government the PPP government has opened a way for me and I'm so thankful and grateful for the help that they have granted me. These homeowners are also presented with electrical and termite treatment certificates. Minister within the Ministry of Housing and Water, Susan Rodriguez, noted that the program has been positively impacting the lives of citizens. The Adequate Housing and Urban Accessibility Program um, aims to help the most vulnerable Guyanese. Um, it's a project total of about 5.8 billion Guyana dollars. And over the last few years, we've been ensuring that we construct core homes um, across three areas, East Bank, East Coast, and which includes Sapphire, and over in Region 3.